So growing up in Louisville, there's a lot of great players and great athletes, but one of the most unique one that I played against growing up through elementary school and the middle school, and then we played on the same AAU team. Uh, my first year of high school was Rajon Rondo. So I was one of Rondo's backups at the time. Of course, in high school, before he went to Oak Hill, he played here in Louisville at Eastern High School, and we would play them every year one or two times. And he absolutely, like, torched us. I think his last game, his junior year, he had 47 points and, like, 21 rebounds as a point guard, as a guard. And it was just straight get to the rim, floaters, and free throws because uh, he wasn't shooting any threes or anything back then. And we just couldn't do anything with him. And at that time, we were, I think that year, we were ranked number 18 in the nation at our highest, number one in the state of Kentucky. And we just couldn't do anything with him. And I know he was special. And then, of course, the next year he went on to be at Oak Hill, McDonald's All-American, Kentucky, and then the Celtics. Being able to play against players like him, and there was a lot of other great players, uh, really helped me develop my game. But... One thing I would say I really noticed about playing with Rondo was, number one, he was nasty competitive. So he's what you would call a dog for sure. He had that killer instinct from the very beginning, you know, and I don't know where you get that from, like how you develop that in players. I've just seen it. I don't know if it's the environment you grow up in or if you can develop that over time, but he had it. So I can remember us going and traveling and this is when AAU was like more elite. So it wasn't like today where everybody has an AAU team and every player plays on AAU. Back then it was like almost invite only. Somehow I made it onto this team and I remember we went to a tournament and we were playing against an and one sponsored team. And you know and one they were the biggest thing back then. And uh, they were actually a division above us. We were 15U and they were 17U. They were talking and just talking trash, and they were a good team. And then Rondo just totally just took over. Like he just had that, what made him great in the NBA, which was like his court vision. He just had a knack for the ball. He could create and see things two or three steps ahead. You know, he had that when he was 15 years old, 14, 15 years old, he had that even back then. And I just remember him taking the game over and him even being a, a not that tall, skinny, lanky guard. He was just grabbing rebounds. He got to the rim whenever he wanted. And nobody was tougher as far as tough as nails, competitive as him. And you see that it translates over. You know, I feel like that's the main thing that put Rondo in the position uh, from being just another guy out there in the D-League NBA or playing overseas to being a legit NBA veteran now. Uh, NBA All-Star and a champion was his basketball IQ. He just had just gifts, just talent, but his competitiveness, his nastiness. He was such a great specialist at what he did, playmaking, uh, that it carried him over the top.